Hi, I'm Jessica Cooper and I am a Business Development Manager here at Igloo Vision. Today I'm going to be speaking to you from our London office and I'm going to be chatting with my colleague Theo Penty. We're going to be speaking a little bit about how Igloo is already involved in the educational market. So that's going to be schools, colleges and universities. And we're also going to be talking a little bit about the products that we have here at Igloo. Our products range from cylinders to domes to immersive spaces. And with the immersive spaces, we can actually retrofit an existing space to make it immersive for you. The reason that our technology works so well in the educational market is because it's so flexible. So a range of people can use it. So some universities that we're working with will have it being used by one department, but lots of them will be sharing the technology and having students and lecturers and professors all using it and all working with it. So today we're going to be talking to you a little bit about some of the projects that we've already completed in this space and we're going to be showing you a bit of our technology. Our first example is a recent installation in the University of Adelaide in Australia. Uh, the team there used Igloo technology to create an immersive space in the facility of health and medical sciences. They then created their own 360 content by capturing footage from hospitals and medical wards to simulate the feel of being inside a hospital for their students. The great thing about this technology in this educational setting is that you can also bring in other tools, so in this case things like mannequins and medical equipment to aid with the teaching. An additional positive here is that lecturers were able to use the Igloo technology to present and teach to remotely based students. So as well as being surrounded by life-size students in 360, teachers could also bring up polls and presentations that the students could see. And so here's a short video about how they're already using the Igloo Vision technology. We started investigating the possibility of installing an immersion room about two years ago and we were supported by faculty 100% to invest in this technology. I have been using the immersion room for teaching. What I especially love is that we can change scenes quite rapidly, um, which we can't do uh, ordinarily. So this has been able to condense a lot of the learning content um, because we can actually change the space quite rapidly. So the Igloo's been incredibly well received by students and staff alike. They immediately excited because they haven't seen something like that before and it automatically sets that frame for learning. I feel like the immersion room gives them a little bit more of a real life sense of what that environment would actually feel like. So for me one of the advantages was some of the pro applications that come with the Igloo solution. Igloo have been very careful to partner with us through the way and listen to what we wanted and that's what has been delivered and their after support has been excellent. Hi, I'm Theo Penty, Business Development Manager at Igloo Vision. My role at Igloo is to work with our education accounts, primarily in the EMEA region, but I support with our education clients in America, Canada, um, Asia and Australia. You'll have seen from the video we've just shown you with the University of Adelaide how our clients are using our technology to help them adapt to some of the unique challenges they're facing in these times, particularly in regard to their remote learning and distance learning technologies. Our clients love Igloo technology due to its flexibility and the ease of use. It makes something very complicated seem quite straightforward. We've got different interfaces for the different kind of users you, we have. Uh, you can run our systems from a tablet, from a PC screen, or from an interface that runs across the whole Igloo system. That's why we've installed Igloos in over 30 universities worldwide, um, and that number is growing month by month. The University of Brighton has got a 180 degree, six metre dome screen off us. It's in their School of Sports Sciences and it's used for simulating a whole range of things like reactions to game environments playing netball or hockey. We have a nine metre dome at the University of Loughborough. It's deeply embedded into their curriculum within the Faculty of Chemical Engineering. They're using their dome to train their students on soft skill and communication protocols between field engineers and those working in the control room and also give them experience of live plant processing. Another recent installation we've completed is at the University of Deakin in Australia. Uh, it's in their Faculty of Humanities and Education where they're giving trainee teachers that first feel of being in the classroom. And on the other end of the spectrum, we have clients who are using their igloos to enrich and enhance their entire curriculum. One such example being from here in the UK at Stoke-on-Trent College. In 2019, Igloo installed two six-metre cylinders at their facilities for enriching the whole curriculum. That includes students building games in real-time engines for display in the systems, 
um, conducting virtual site visits using Google Street View for their construction students and giving childcare practitioners that feeling of being out in the field. Uh, let's take a look at the installation Igloo have completed at Michigan State University. This is a deeper dive with an Igloo education client who's using our technology across their whole curriculum. When MSU approached us back in 2019 with their approach to do something new and exciting with Immersive, they wanted all of their technology, their headsets, their workstations, and anything to do with virtual reality in one place. They landed upon the Digital Scholarship Lab with an Igloo six meter cylinder as the showpiece installation. The Igloo installation at the DSL, the Digital Scholarship Lab, really helps to enhance their virtual reality offering because it takes what can be experienced in a headset and puts it on the bigger screen in an immersive manner that whole classes can enjoy. Let's take a look at a short video from the installation at Michigan State University. When we started planning the Digital Scholarship Lab, we knew that we wanted to bring people from around campus into this space. And one of the things that helps with that is something of a showpiece technology, something that people don't have access to already and they don't know that they want yet. This is a shared experience. People are able to communicate together and kind of come together. We're, as VR goggles, you're cut off from the world. This is something that you can share. And it's you know a pleasing place to be. It's an inspiring place to be. The Digital Scholarship Lab is really the place on campus where we in the digital humanities congregate and do our work. Space planning, design, and construction, we didn't know that they were going to need this space, but they knew as soon as they found out that they were going to use it because those students have a variety of different types of modeling and rendering and they really want to build a digital environment that makes you feel like you're in a physical environment. And so one aspect of the event in the 360 lab enabled groups of about 10 people to analyze classroom spaces for an occupant's ability to respond in an active shooter incident. Because we have this 360 space available, we could actually analyze multiple spaces in a very short period of time. Eagle Web is fantastic because it opens up the entire web to the immersive environment. Anything that's out there that is 360 or even at least panoramic, I can pull it in. That's the cool thing. There's no end to what you can do with the system. It's just a matter of what if and then what if becomes reality. It works with a number of file types and software packages that are already the bread and butter of these different fields. Uh, so we're excited that more universities are adopting this because those are potential partners down the line where we could create content, share content, um, and really tackle some of these complicated big problems that are otherwise very hard to visualize and very hard to understand. Hundreds of students each year are creating content for the 360. There's no barrier in terms of creation. The ideas are what matters and the immersive communication of those ideas is what we're really trying to bring forward in those courses. As already mentioned, education is our largest and fastest growing market. Igloo Vision has over 30 university installations worldwide and they're on every continent. We offer support on these installations 24 hours a day, so our clients are in safe hands. The universities we've worked with are up on screen now. You can find more information on our website in our case study section, or you can get in contact with Igloo or an Igloo representative. For now, on with the presentation. So how does it all work? Every Igloo installation is powered by an immersive media player. Installed on that immersive media player is the Igloo software suite. The Igloo software is flexible, easy to use, and it puts you in control of a layer-based system that allows you to seamlessly change between different content sources in the immersive space. It takes any content in any format, in any size, and will allow you to display it within the walls of that immersive environment. You don't need technical people to operate your Igloo installation. Um, it can be operated by faculty and student alike. And in terms of content, your students will be able to make content for the system from day one. With access to 360 cameras, they can drag and drop films and video into the room. Um, we've got templates made for Google Slides to make 360 degree wraparound presentations that they can have access to. And a whole host of video materials on our website talking about how to make content for an igloo. 
and it's for all those reasons that igloos are flexible and easy to use. We've already said that igloo systems can play any content in any format from any source and display them in an immersive environment. What you're looking at here is a diagram showing how we do that. Uh, on the left, you've got the different kind of content we can ingest. And just to the side of that, you've got the Igloo software that allows you to do that. Um, all of that is piped in through our warping technology, controlled by three key bits of software, as on the display. And what that immersive media player is then doing is outputting that to the projectors and speakers that make up an immersive room or an immersive installation. We also want to tell you a little bit about one of our newest applications, which is called Igloo Home. Igloo Home makes this kind of technology accessible to students and lecturers. The idea is it creates an interface that anybody can use. It's super accurate, intuitive and motion tracked, so you can use your own personal device to interact with the content. If you imagine the layout of your smartphone, that's kind of what Igloo Home looks like. It wraps all the way around you with super easy to select icons. It can also be customised to meet your exact needs. When it comes to the immersive market in education, the terms igloo and caves are used interchangeably, but the reality is they're very different technologies with very different attributes and they tend to be accessible at very different price points. Firstly, they differ in complexity. A cave typically is a complex system. It might use cluster technology with lots of different parts, multiple servers, multiple projectors like an igloo. Um, it's used for carrying out complex visualization processes and it's often a bespoke system used for one particular process or one particular visualization. Whereas an igloo system is far less complex in the sense that it's typically built on one immersive media player outputting the content to all of the projectors and the speaker arrays, meaning there's far less that can go wrong. As we've already discussed, an igloo is designed with usability in mind. An igloo installation takes a lot of the complexity associated with a cave and does it from a single immersive media player in software. So from a front end point of view, it feels much more like a consumer device. I'm going to pass back to Jess to talk about our partnership with AVI SPL. All of the products and the technology that we've discussed in this presentation are available to you through our partners AVI SPL. Here at Igloo, we already have offices in the UK, in the USA, in Canada and in Australia. Um, so our already wide reach is made even wider through our partners AVI SPL. So no matter what your use case or your department or your need for immersive technology, Igloo can help provide a solution for you.